Hey guys, um, I think I need to make an update. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, Gabby, can you play in your room? You gotta finish that bowl. I finished it. Not yet. <clears throat> so, um, I think I need to make a video. I. I had my tubes tied. Apparently, I had my tubes tied about six years ago. And when I go to the hospital, sometimes they say one thing, they say it's tied, and other times they say it's not tied. Um, but for six years, I hadn't gotten pregnant. So, I really didn't think too much of it. And I had sex, and um, about a few days later, um, I had some spotting only when I went to the bathroom and then, um, I put on a pad, but nothing had got on the pad. It was completely clean. Um, and so I looked it up on Google. I know you're not supposed to Google everything because everyone's like, Google will tell you that you finna die or something. And it's not finna die. <laughs> it's just like... You know, something normal. I know it's not my period. I know it's not. And, um, I have three kids already. <clears throat> it's not like I'm about to cry about that. Um, I told everybody at work, you know, I was, everyone was talking about their kids and stuff. So, I brought it up at work. And um, everyone was like, not everyone, <laughs> but some people was like, oh, Ronnie, you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. You know. But for six years, I did it right. You know, nothing happened. And so, I don't know. Um, it would be number four. I have a 13-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 6-year-old. And I'm 32. So, I know 32 is not like 45 or something. But, you know, I, I kind of figured that when it came to making babies, that was over. So, I don't want to take a pregnancy test yet. I don't want to. I'm not like down and out and like mad or sad about it. You know, I don't want to seem like that. But I just don't want to take a test yet because my cycle is supposed to come on like in um, two days. So, when the bleeding happened, that was like 10 days away from my cycle. And so, you know... I guess I haven't had any, like, um, I don't know, you know, that, that was really the only thing that happened was the bleed, and I haven't had any other symptoms that I could really know, because, I mean, usually I'm eating a lot, ever since I had Gabby, I gained, like, 30 pounds, 35, something like that, so, I don't think I'm going to be losing weight anytime soon, so, I started drinking some more water, because, you know, that's kind of like, it's, it's really, a, it's really, a, it's really, a, it could be a sign. You know, it could be a sign. I'm freaking out, to be honest. You know, I'm freaking out. And I need to calm down. But it was one time thing, you know. And so I figure, well, being sexually active is going to, you know, like, you're having sex more than one time a month, you know, <clears throat> more than one time a month. Then yeah, you know, girl, you finna, you it's finna happen to you, but one time in in a month, you know, um, after getting my tubes tied. Now, but with my first three, I didn't um have any kind of bleeding that started and stopped. It was just the time for my cycle to come on. It just never came on. It just never came on, and um, so. I looked it up, and one thing that got me kind of paranoid a bit is I looked it up, and they're like, okay, well, um, bleeding at start and stops is implantation bleeding, and that happens when, like, the baby attaches or something because, and it says because you've had, like, previous um, pregnancies, the uterus, like, I don't know, it's sensitive or something, and it started bleeding. But what if it's like twins or something, you know? And if it's twins, 
oh my god, my mom is gonna like, she's gonna, she's gonna lose it, you know, um, I was married, but I'm not, and so, I'm a single mom, and so, I, I have no idea, but I know everyone is gonna monkey, and be like, you know, when was you having sex, you know, and who, and with who, and the guy, I know the guy for a while, you know, but it's not like, it's not like that. It just kind of like happened. And so it was one of the things that it just happened. And then after that, <clears throat> when you need, you say, I don't want to freak out and say that I'm just so overly fertile. Because there's a lot of people that want to have kids, you know, they want to be fertile and they try to be fertile. And they try like a lot to make a baby. And maybe I'm not even pregnant and just like, I had, you know, a freak, like, bleeding episode that, you know, didn't really, ho not hopefully, because if this is like the prelude to a new baby, I don't want my baby to be like, damn, my mom was like, hopefully not, you know, so it's not hopefully not, um, but at the same time, I really wish that if I have any, I really wish it was different. I wish it was like during the time that I was married, happy and, you know, everything was perfect and I had a house and I wasn't in an apartment and I could just imagine the situations that, about 50,000 situations that would make it so much better. But, you know, that's how life is and when God gives you, you know, it's only God. People can try, but we can try to play God. But in actuality, we can't be God. You know, if God says somebody going to live, somebody going to live no matter what we do, you know, and vice versa. So I'm not mad at the hospital for like, for it happening because I feel like maybe it's still some blockage and it's just my eggs found a way around the blockage and kind of made like a tunnel. And kind of started tunneling through because my kids is real constructive like that. You know, to see them now outside of me is they real constructive. So I think that they made like a tunnel in my tubes or something around the blockage. And kind of, you know, straight through and got fertilized. And when I tell my mom, that's not how I'm going to tell my mom. Like, you know, they had made a tunnel and swam. Because she'll be like, what the hell are you talking about, you know? Like, but, <clears throat> yeah, for real, um, maybe that's what happened. And so, yeah, one day I had my tube tied when I was 26. And um, I'm 32. And it's just, you know, I maybe I have overly active children, overly active like eggs, even when they are egg, they won't sit down. They won't like do the things that you're supposed to do. They just make their own way around it. So, you know, all we can do is be a community and come together and like teach and take care of these kids. Cause you know, it's starting to be a lot of kids. And so that's why I got my tool side specifically because it's, it was starting to be a lot of kids, you know, and um, after my divorce, I said, well, you know, picture perfect is faded. You know, that picture perfect is really faded out and it's outdone. So um, I had two in my marriage, two kids in my marriage. And then, um, then Gabby came six years ago and it's a six year it's a six year thing with me and I, that's what i told everybody at work too it's every six years i just like magically get pregnant it was i had my son when my son turned six years old i got pregnant with gabby so now gabby just turned six years old last month september and you know i done had the bleeding that then started and stopped and so I don't know. I'm going to update everybody, make another video. My friend, one of my friend girls, she was like, you look like you're about to cry or something. And I hope I don't. I hope I don't look like I'm about to cry. <laughs> because it's a very beautiful thing. Um, it's just that 
I'm just totally amazed by myself and the things that my body would do. So, that's what's going on now. I'm going to keep everybody posted. Like I said, I'm not going to cry. Put on my big girl pants. You know, I was a big girl to do the things I had to be a big girl to handle the consequences that come afterwards. You know, and that's just the way it is. You know, but I have the faith that God won't give me too much that I can't handle. So, at the same time, when it's a lot, maybe it's a, a blessing in disguise in a way. You know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. You don't sit around and cry because you can't find that dude. You know, hopefully I'll find that dude. But at that time, I'm probably like 45 or something. I don't know. But it's life ahead. So, I'm going to keep everybody posted. Thank y'all for listening. And, um, deuces. I hit you back.